Hi guys, welcome to day seven of our advent calendar. So today we are painting this star and the printable for this is, I'll link it below, it's on my blog so you can just uh, print it out and trace it. Um, so what we're doing here is every section we're trying to make sort of um, look sort of 3D. So you can see that the first section I painted is supposed to be the uh, mo the lightest section so I used um, sun gold and now I am mixing the sun gold so that's by paint and paper studio I'll link it below I am mixing that now with a bit of the Wallace and Seymour Chino breast there so um, again I will put all these um, paints below uh, but what we're doing is kind of going around so we we're going around and painting the left section of the star so that that can dry and then we'll paint in the right section. Uh, so now I'm using shell pink and Ginebrasa and I am just um, basically going around and, and the facets so it's kind of like one of those um, you know stars that go up and down and it's like a 3D star so the left side here we are trying to create as the part where the light's hitting it so they're a little bit lighter in tone and then this one here is just going to be the uh, Turner Pearl Red. So again, you can mix a lot of these. So if you have a pearl white, you could start that at the top, mix it with a touch of, um, so this one here is just the Chinarese, um for the underside of this star. So it will be a little bit darker where the shadow is hitting it. But you can mix the pearl white with a lot of um, different things to create some of these colors. So you could mix it with a little bit of yellow, um, with a little bit of peach or a little bit of orange, maybe mixed with a small bit of ochre um, and so on. A, a little bit of um, red or a pink. So now we're just again using the Chinabresa that these have dried. Also the one next to it here has dried, the one we just did didn't, hasn't dried yet, but um, you want to make sure these are dried so that you get like this nice crisp line. Um, and you can obviously choose any colours you want, you don't have to do um, even iridescent colours, but uh, I'm just kind of showing you my thought process here. So this one is an, again an underside, so it's a little bit darker, it'll be in shadow more, and this is the Holbein Shell Pink. Um, and yeah, so we continue to go around. We're putting like the shadow ones in here now. So this one is the shell pink mixed with the Daniel and Smith Sedona, which is like a burnt sienna. Um, and actually, you know, I just left it at the one coat just to try and get all these uh, videos out. But you can definitely do this again to darken up um the the sort of ones in shadow you can also just put a little bit more like a, on a second glaze so put a little bit of a shadow color on there as well uh, and then we do it in another color in uh, green you can do this in so many different colors so you could have a practice and then this would be a really nice um, front of a card and I do have another video that we did in last year's advent calendar about a star like this but we actually foiled the right side of all the points so I will link that video uh, below and
Okay, so you can see here I'm using a larger brush here and I'm just putting water on to start with and then I'm dropping in color um, and that is pretty much it. So it's just a really nice uh, simple exercise and a nice way to mix colors and to try different color palettes as well. And you can see like the the darker that you put the kind of right side. So the, the star on the right page here, the green one, you can see that like on the right side here, I've chosen darker colors and it really starts to make that 3D effect sort of come to life. Um, and so that is pretty much it for day seven. I hope you enjoyed this. And again, don't forget to share the advent calendar if you think anyone would like it. Um, let's see. At the end here, I'll just put a little bit of footage in of cutting some chocolate. So we went to Whole Foods and we get these little like blocks of chocolate. Um, and yeah, just cut that up and put them on little plates or in little gravy boats or something and put them in the fridge. Um, it's, I'm not allowed to eat it this year, but um, yes, those pandemic pounds are trying to come off. So it's a bit of a struggle, but um yeah it's really nice like it's a nice little treat and everyone seems to enjoy it so i hope you guys have a really lovely rest of the day and i will see you tomorrow bye